Hello everyone, this is Matt McLean, Director of Marketing at Keycode Media. I want to thank everyone for joining us for our first of many broadcast to post webinars. This week, we're discussing Avid Media Central Editorial Management. Editorial management is going to revolutionize the way productions and facilities use Media Composer, helping you find files faster across your Nexus workspaces, share projects and media, accelerate editorial workflow, collaborate between departments, and allow media and project access through a web browser. It also adds powerful, simple to deploy asset management capabilities to your file-based editing workflow. Editorial management is a foundational component of the larger Media Central for Post Solutions, designed specifically for the needs of smaller post-production and broadcast team with Avid Nexus. This workflow module from Media Central delivers enhanced collaborative capabilities, enabling teams to stay in complete sync, have greater control over their media assets, and turn around their best work faster than ever before. Keycode Media is Avid's number one nationwide reseller for over 15 years. We have more Avid ACSR certified technicians than anyone, period. For those that don't know, Keycode Media is a nationwide reseller and system integrator for live broadcasts, post-production, and AV system integration, supporting all 50 states across six hubs in Los Angeles, Seattle, San Francisco, Chicago, Detroit, and New York. Also, if you're not already aware, we just launched Keycode Education, live and post-production training and certification for individual students and group classes. Learn software, technology, and creative skills to achieve personal and professional growth. This division is also led by our new Chief Academic Officer, Jonathan Nemeo. I'm sure you heard of him. Visit KeyCodeEducation.com to learn more. Now let's get to the presentation. Remember, you can ask questions at any time during the presentation by commenting on YouTube, Facebook, or on Twitter using the hashtag Editorial Management. All right, let's get started. Okay, wow. Well, that's quite an introduction. Thanks, Matt. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. All right, let's get into the demo of Avid Media Central Editorial Management. Now, this is a great new workflow module, which we will be releasing shortly, which can be added to the Avid Media Central platform. So you have your Nexus, you have a server, and the server will now be able to index and look at all of the media across your entire Nexus uh, storage system. Uh, so you'll have access to projects and media, being able to actually see frames, being able to search by metadata across all of your projects uh, within Media Composer, but also in a web browser. So this is all dependent on the role that you have in your facility. So let's start out looking at the heart of Media Central Editorial Management, which is Avid Nexus. So this is the new flashless UI, which is great because it can run on a desktop, laptop, or even a mobile device. We'll see you have your, your dashboard, which shows you connectivity with who's connected, sort of bandwidth and performance. Uh, you can go in and see your installers. So your users, you basically set up and you give permissions to who can and can't see certain workspaces. And again, this is the basis of Media Central Editorial Management. So we take a look at uh, my settings. These are the read and write access that I have to certain workspaces. I also see your workspaces here 
if you want to go in and do any sort of the dynamic reallocation of workspace size, you still have the ability to do it in the new uh, UI. But as you know, Avid Nexus just works. It's an amazing uh, piece of hardware and a great product for us. So let's go into uh, first taking a look at Media Composer and how Media Central editorial management will work here. Now, one thing you'll notice is when you go into launching Media Composer besides your projects, is you do get a little window down here, a little selection to open up to log into Media Central. So I'll go ahead and log in using my credentials. And again, this is the exact same credentials that you use with Nexus. You'll see I now have access. And I'm going to go into the I Can Cook project right here and open that up. So you have all of the standard tools. You have everything you have within Media Composer, all of your bins, all of the tools. Uh, but the real great new addition here with Media Central Editorial Management is when you go to the Tools menu, you'll see there is an option to select Media Central Editorial Management. And this opens up another panel inside of the editor, which gives me access across, again, my entire Nexus storage system with the workspaces that I have available to me. So you see, these are my Nexus workspaces right here. And just to show you, if I go to the Nexus Client Manager, you'll see that audio, cooking, webisode, those are all the exact same workspaces that you see right here. So this is very familiar to anybody who's used to using Avid Nexus and having access to their workspaces. But the nice thing here is I can go into a project. This is an Avid project. We'll look at I Can Cook and take a look at the iconography here. You see you have your bins look like bins and you also have your bin locking that you have with Nexus. This is fantastic. So if I want to go ahead and take a look at some uh, media here, let's go ahead and open up the cooking. This is Avid Media. I'm seeing a frame that's available to me so I can easily go in and take a clip, drag it up here and have access to it. Take one of these here. And it's also showing me in the bin where that is. But the real power here is I can go ahead and look at media in another project. Let's go to the nature project, because let's say the, uh, as we're talking about cooking, we may want to look at a certain region that maybe the cuisine that we're using is coming from. Or maybe we're doing seafood and want to have some you know, fish shots. So again, some nice tools here where I can now go in and drag this clip up into my project or double click, and it brings in that clip opens up the bin that it came from and now you'll see even the Nexus bin is loaded into my project here. So a great tool to just browse across your assets and your projects using Media Central Editorial Management. So the first app you see across the top here is Browse. I'm just browsing through my projects to see what I may want to be adding uh, or searching for. Now, searching is another app. You'll see the search app right next to Browse here. In the first version of Media Central Editorial Management, you have browsing and search capabilities, and the searching is really powerful. You'll see on the left side here, you have a little histogram, so if you want a span of time that you're trying to search, you can see the results currently up in the window, say 2,111 assets. If I choose a certain date range, it filters out to 1,245 across that range which I've selected here. So you'll see again when I turn that off, I have 2,111 assets that it's searching for. You can also see it breaks it down by creation date, last hour, last 24 hours, last week, last year. You'll see modified date, you'll see duration ranges if you're trying to find something for a certain duration and how many assets that equals. So again, some really nice ways to go in and search for media. But what's really cool is you can also search for metadata. Let's say I have um, some other interview shots. I have Doc Crotzer I want to look for, so we'll search for Doc. It searches and filters out. There's 50 shots of Doc right here. Uh, but I actually want to find just the wide shots. So let me go ahead and add another filter of wide, and it's showing me now all of the wide shots. So there's 15 of those that I can bring in to my project. All right, so some really nice control there, but what's also nice is we can search by markers. If you have markers that are set on your media, anywhere across your project, we are doing a cooking show, so I want to find shots where maybe it was marked with garlic. 
to type in the word garlic. We found two shots there. Simply drag that in and we'll see we're right at the garlic marker from that clip. And you'll see if I go to my markers window, those are all of the markers that I could search for. Again, any markers that you have set up. So being able to, inside of Media Composer, browse and search across your assets, really there's a lot of power there to be able to uh, add that to your workflow. Just a little side note here in version one, we have the panel available inside of Media Composer, but in a future version, we will also have this panel available inside of Adobe Premiere. That's right. So uh, we've shown this inside of Media Composer, but the real power here is going to also be using it depending on what your role is in a web browser. So let me go ahead to Media Central. You'll see if I log out, I'm just going to go ahead and log back in using the exact same credentials. I would log into my Nexus and also into Editorial Management. And again, you'll see I have my Nexus workspaces down the left hand side here. I can open those up, look at projects, we'll go into I Can Cook and take a look at the cooking bin. Again, you'll see the iconography is exactly the same. And this is just in the web browser. So if I want to look at media, how many times have you wanted to take a look at Avid Media but you couldn't because you didn't have Media Composer? All you had was a bin full of MXF files. Well now with the project I can actually go in double click and it's going to load up into a little player my Avid Media. Ooh, very exciting. Yeah, that's really cool. So we have some really great control here and you'll see the responsiveness is pretty fantastic. This is now playing back an HTML5 representation of the media that I am basically streaming through the web browser. But it is frame accurate, it is media running uh, directly from the media that is in the Avid Nexus. And double click, brings up the player. We want to take a look at any metadata. We open up the metadata tab. I can scroll through all the metadata, which is searchable. I can even go in and add descriptions. Good shot. Please use a little marker that can be searched on. But markers, let's go back and take a look. If I go to the markers tab, these are the exact same markers that were inside of the editor that, you know, if I created it inside of Media Composer, I would see them here. But what's really cool is I could even create them in the web browser, in the web app. So let's say, okay, she's unwrapping some cheese, uh, removing plastic. Let's just go ahead and put a little marker here. We'll type in removing plastic. Very exciting. And now that marker is set on that piece of media. And depending on how you log in, of course, the username would be uh, assigned to whoever put the markers on. So really nice there. And now this is something that can be searchable. Now we have uh, in the web browser, again, being able to browse the media, being able to click and play the media, being able to add markers. But we can also go in, also search. So we do have the search app. If we are trying to find any marker where uh, she's talking about her clients, I double click and it brings up any of those markers. Here she is talking about her corporate clients. And we can play that back. Company. I basically work with both private clients and corporate clients during the week. Now, uh, being able to go in and browse inside of the web app is really great. But what's also really powerful is I could even go in and create bins in the web browser. So, let's go back to I Can Cook. Go into a little view here, see all of our bins. But I'm going to create a new bin just by right clicking and create bin. Now, this is my hyper bin. This is creating the bin outside of Media Composer, 
through the web browser. And I'm going to call this day five, just random, random bin, hit create, and you'll see day five comes up as a bin in my I Can Cook project. So if I double click, we open it up, you'll see that there's nothing in it. So I actually want to introduce media to it. Introduce Avid Media, introduce Linked Media. So let's go to search. I want to search for, uh, let's say, garlic. Could be anything in the naming, could be a marker. And I'm going to use the docking feature by taking the Browse app and dropping it down here. And now with day five open, we see that in the breadcrumbs, I can simply take a clip of media from the garlic search, drag and drop it over here, and it's now gonna introduce that clip into the day five bin through the web browser. This is the power of the hyperbin. Let's say you wanna go in and find, you know where she was talking about the clients. Any shots there. We'll search through all the media, take one of these, We'll drag and drop it over here. And it drops that clip in. We'll do one more. So again, simply in the web browser, dragging and dropping clips from search and in browse into the bin. But the cool thing is, I'm outside of Media Composer. Once I go into Media Composer, you'll see that day five populates as a bin right here. I double click, and those three clips that I introduced in the web app Media Central is now available to me right here in Media Composer. So total collaboration, being able to do all of that through the web browser, having the panel inside of Media Composer, giving you the ability to keep everybody in sync while working is the real beauty and power behind Media Central editorial management. So great, uh, quick little demo, little overview, and uh, I think we have